Now, Lawler came with you after the split happened. Could you tell us about your history with Lawler and how you discovered him? Yeah, Lawler, uh, Jackie Fargo introduced me to Jerry Lawler as an artist. Jerry worked for him at a radio station, you know, making banners and stuff like that. And he said, this kid is very talented and he's a huge wrestling fan. Uh, why don't you let him take his artwork on TV and show it? So I did, and uh, then some period of time passed, and Fargo said, he's been wrestling over in Arkansas, and why don't you let him come to TV? And I did, and as an enhancement talent, Carpenter. And uh, he just took incredible bumps. And so I, I said, Jackie, I think you're right. This kid can draw some money. So we started booking him. And uh, had one little incident that he didn't want to make some towns that were a long ride away. And so I sent him out to Montgomery, Alabama territory. And then I brought him back and uh, he just had a charisma that was very special and was a good worker and Every day, his his ability on the microphone seemed every week seemed to get so much better and so compelling. And so the rest is history. I went over to Knoxville and got Jim White and uh, Sam Bass to put with him in a tag team, and then uh, from that. Uh, Jim had some, Jim White had some marital problems and left, and so I started Jerry as a single with Sam Bass as his manager. Rest is history. And was Jerry Lawler versus Bill Dundee the feud you made the most money with over the years? Yes, and and that's a perfect example of keeping it real. They had a little jealousy thing going. Uh, Lawler was the top dog and Dundee wanted to be the top dog. When you interviewed him, I'm sure that came out. And in Dundee's mind, he may think he really accomplished being the top dog. But they would knock the hell out of each other. And I mean from the opening bell to the final bell. They kept it real. And the people would watch and say, they don't like each other. They're really trying to hurt each other. Now they wouldn't let it disintegrate into a shoot, but they, in a working way, they could still beat the hell out of each other. So that in the dressing room, each of them were going, oh, ow. <laughs>